What's going on guys? My name is Vasily and welcome to Very Goodski Games. So first of all, thank you for watching today. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. My goal is to get to 100 subscribers. I'm currently at 46 subscribers as you can see. So I would really appreciate your support. Um, and if you haven't already, please like this video and stay tuned for more MetaZoo content as well as other games. So without further ado, let's launch into today, today's video. Uh, so what I will be talking about today is basically a MetaZoo market snapshot and analysis. I'll be taking a look at uh, the prices that the MetaZoo products are currently selling for on the secondary market, mainly eBay, uh, because it's easier to get uh, sales data from there. Um, and the reason I wanted to do this is due to the kind of growing popularity of a MetaZoo. You know, if you've been paying attention to the game, uh, you would have kind of seen a meteoric rise in popularity uh, and the secondary market prices and things are moving so fast every day now, it's kind of hard to gauge uh, what you should be, you know, selling your items for, or what you should be paying for them. Uh, but fortunately, there's a good tool uh, that I use that I'll show you guys uh, where you can do your research to see what are people willing to pay for the product on the secondary market. Uh, and of course, you know, we're currently in the first edition Kickstarter print run, which has all been sold out. So the product quantity is very limited. Everything's sold out. The only way you can get it is on secondary market. So it's a seller's market. The sellers dictate the, the prices. Uh, so, you know, it's prices are mainly set right now through the auctions. You know, I can play something on auction for $10 and uh, the buyers will bid it up to $1,000 just because the demand is so high. So that is also kind of a counter argument to uh, a lot of people saying that people are scalping, which I really don't think there's any scalping going on. Pe the people that got their product early uh, in the, in the uh, release you know, have been lucky enough to get it. And there's people that want this product. It's becoming a very high collector's item. Uh, so, you know, I don't consider it scalping where, you know, people are willing to pay, in, in, you know, ridiculous prices on eBay because they are the ones that are bidding the product up due to the, you know, low demand. So that being said, uh, let's kind of launch into today's video. Uh, I'm going to start off with the MetaZoo Spellbook. Uh, now, the MetaZoo spellbook, if you're not familiar with it, is, uh, so let me take a look at my notes real quick. So the spellbook had a 1,000 uh, print run. So this is the Kickstarter uh, first edition spellbook. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, what comes inside, you get 10 blister packs, you get a MetaZoo uh, Cryptid Nation map, uh, you get an exclusive promo card uh, that's called, I think, Cryptid Nation. Um, and I'm trying to remember what else comes in there. I don't think there's a coin. There might or might not be a coin inside. I think there is a coin in this one, um, also a promo coin. So what's interesting is I think about this one is, uh, this retailed for, um, I believe $39 when it released. Uh, now, as I mentioned, there was, a 1,000 spellbooks of these offered. I got one of these when it released. I opened mine, um, and unfortunately, I don't have a sealed one in my collection, but I did get the goodies from this one. So looking at this, you know, today's uh, April 18th, uh, we can see that the latest this has sold for on eBay is $1,000, and this is pretty consistent from what I've seen from trade groups and also eBay. This is kind of stabilized at around $1,000 per spellbook now. Now, if we go down the list, you know, don't pay attention to these because these are essentially the pre-orders. People are selling pre-orders, which is in fact not allowed on eBay. So if you see the pre-orders circulating, uh, go ahead and report these because, uh, you know, the eBay policy is that the seller has to be able to fulfill uh, and ship you the order, I think, within like a week or something. Uh, and the pre-orders are not shipping until June or July. So all of these pre-orders are invalid. People that are paying these are basically... You know, I do not want to say being scammed, but they're, you know, being hustled for their money because the first edition, the official first edition will have a much higher print run and it will be, you know, officially released on the MetaZoo site and you'll be able to pay this price for them right here, $39.99. You should not be paying $132 for a pre-order because only 20% of this has been sold so far. Please don't fall for these. Uh, you know, make sure you know what you're buying. 
Um, so that being said, let's go down the list right here. So the latest it's selling for is 999. We can see the trend. You know, this one sold for 900. Around the 13th, sold for 1,050. Uh, going back as far as a week, we can see this price has been pretty stable around a thousand dollars. Now, if we go back further, of course, and this is the card actually that we see right here, which is the Spellbook promo card called Cryptid Nation. You know, the card itself that comes in the pack has sold for 268, you know, more than 10 days ago. Um, now, the prices did spike, it looks like around the six for to 1200. Uh, and somebody, oh, this is a, a collection. Uh, but yeah, if we if we go back far enough, we'll see that the prices were much lower. Like this one sold on the March 27th for 300. So th there's a definite trend of the prices climbing up, and I've seen these kind of stabilize around a thousand dollars. So if you're you know buying or selling one around today's date, April 18th, you know to pay this price or ask this price right now. All right, so moving on to the next product, I'm gonna look at the MetaZoo Blister Pack. Now, the MetaZoo uh, Blister Pack uh, was, I think, re retailed at around, um, I wanna say like $5.99 these were. They are like between four and six dollars I remember paying for these, and I got a number of these. Uh, they had a print run of 2,000 copies for the Kickstarter edition print run, and I've kind of seen also this price um, stabilize around 200 to 250 dollars. Now this right here is the card that you're looking at. This is the MetaZoo promo Mothman that only comes in the blister pack. We can see this selling individually for 110 dollars. Uh, you know, looking here, the latest one has sold was April 14th for 235. Um, you know, we see you know this price is kind of also going around 265 April 12th. Well, we see one sold on April 11th for 319. So people are definitely looking for these, you know. Um, and what you get in this one, if you're not aware, is you get one uh, booster pack, you get a promo coin, uh, and you also get a uh, Mothman card, the exclusive that comes in that pack. So these are, you know, pretty cool collector's items. I got a number of these myself. I opened one. I kept the rest sealed. So it's good to know that the value is kind of stabilizing around. 200 250 dollars uh we can kind of see that being pretty consistent of course going back you know april 2nd these are selling a little less 155 100 dollars but you know up here as of today's date i would expect to you know pay around 250 dollars for one in fact if i was going to list one that's what i would be asking and this is of course an auction so sometimes auctions get bid bit up higher but you know this one sold just straight up for 225 so that's pretty cool. All right, let's take a look at the next item. And the next one I want to see is the decks. So the structured theme decks um, had a print run of 500 of each type. So there was five different uh, theme decks that released. They had 500 printed of each one. Uh, so these, these are also pretty in-demand items because these have exclusive cards that only come in this deck. Um, and they also have a coin that comes inside. And I think you also get sleeves metazoo sleeves in each one and you get an exclusive promo coin so i did a review video of one of the decks the uh, dark theme deck for the hopkinsville goblin if you haven't seen my video check it out on my channel but those decks were 9.99 and and the value for these is great like the amount of stuff you get in these is just amazing so if you were lucky enough to get these uh when they released for the msrp price uh you know either keep them sealed or, you know, you can use those to play, of course, that's what they're for. But um, I think these are really good collector's items also. So let's take a look here what these are selling for. So this is Canadian, 450 Canadian. One sold for. We got uh, another one, 450 Canadian. USD, 354, 359 here, 340, 380. Now, these, I think, uh, are the in-demand ones that I think a lot of people want this dark theme deck. Just to think right now, like of all the auras in the game and the themes, the dark theme is the coolest. It's like gritty. It's what I would imagine like a cryptid theme to be. It's my favorite so far. So uh, 380, we see we got 338. So it kind of looks like the price for these, you know, I would not be asking less than 300 for these. And in fact, I would probably list it for around 400. But we can see these going between three and 400. Um, and I expect this one actually to climb up because, uh, you know, uh, this being a Kickstarter print run, the everything being sold out, these might actually go up in value as collector's items. 
Cool. So next up, let's take a look at um, what is this? Oh, the non-alternating box. So this is the fun one because I actually have one of these sealed. Uh, so to give you an idea, so uh, MetaZoo released 2,500 booster boxes uh, with the Kickstarter edition print run. 400 of those 2,500 were non-alternating. Now the way that you know something's non-alternating is it had like a little non-alternating sticker on the back of the booster box. Uh, and what that meant was that the packs inside of the booster box were packed in a non-alternating fashion and it just means that the the packs were put like the same art was put on top of each other versus like all mixed into the pack with the regular packs it doesn't change what comes in the box it was just the package the the packing of the packs themselves was different it doesn't uh you know give you any additional content uh or nothing like that but because of that little non-alternating and a lower print run these are selling for more than the regular ones. And I think a lot of collectors, people that are not willing to open these are gonna be paying you know, premium for that. So this one's very interesting because I kind of wanted to talk about the trend here of the prices kind of going up first and then dropping because this is one of the products I have seen. Let, let me scroll down here to give you the, the idea of the peak of the market for this one. Um, now, let me see, I think I missed it. Uh, but these were selling at one point for upwards of six thousand dollars and this peaked around april 5th uh which in fact I've, I've seen people you know selling these in the trade group for like seven thousand dollars and on discord people were asking that i don't know if they sold it for but the highest we see this sold for was six thousand dollars in april 5th and then after that we started seeing kind of a decline in the price so they went to 4800 you know 4800 then we see 4100 4000 uh, we, we see this going to 3,500 USD. Um, and it's kind of interesting trend. And right now, if you, we look at the latest sale of a non-alternating box, 3,100 USD. Um, so kind of interesting. I'm not sure what's going to happen with this, if this is going to stabilize around the price of the regular booster box, or if this is going to go a bit higher. Because right now, let's let's look at the, the regular booster box. Um, Right now, the, the the regular booster box, you know, the 2100 of the 2500 has sold for 2400. So that's only like a $700 premium for the non-alt, which it's basically closed the gap because initially the gap was kind of like astronomical. It was like the, the uh, regular booster box was going for 2500. The non-alt was going for like 6000. I think a lot of people have kind of um, realized there is um, less of a, difference between the two and I think it's also being driven by the fact that uh, people realize that the first edition print run is coming so they could get their hands on the booster boxes and maybe they don't care as much for that Kickstarter symbol uh, so I think that's what's happening but we'll see how, if the game develops I, I expect that these prices are gonna climb a little higher so uh, yeah definitely definitely an interesting trend going on here with the, with the booster boxes you know these are going for Mm, let's see these these were selling upwards of 3500 so these have also dropped in price you know we saw these going for a bit higher so both the non-alt and the booster box have dropped oh, cool so let's take a look at the next item the next one this is kind of like my sore point because i didn't get these in the release uh i, I didn't get my hands on these uh so we're looking at the halloween promos now uh the halloween promos had uh, five of each card uh, release so they released in a single pack that had all five cards essentially so we can see that each one's selling for around you know 187 we got one for 224 oh this one really got bit up 664 uh, the pack itself which contains all five cards sealed went for 1600 just like three days ago and that's pretty crazy yeah we can see this also sold on april 6 for 1600 so yeah, we can kind of see that the price for these, you know, individual cards, 250 around, and the whole pack would be around 1500 and more. Uh, these are, yeah, I, I don't think I'm ever going to get these unless I trade for them. Um, but if you got these, you know, well, one guy has actually got his graded, got an 8.5 from um, Beckett. He sold his for 1300 for a single card. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Yeah, we can see these were selling around March for 600 if you got lucky enough to, to buy it then, you would have made $1,000. All right. So next up, let's take a look at the Christmas promos. Now, the Christmas promos are similar. These were um, also a 500 print run per card. 
Uh, I got my hands on all five of these and I even got one sealed pack, which is kind of a mystery pack. You don't know what's inside because it has like this little Rudolph art covering it. So we can see the sealed ones are going for 169 now. Uh, individually, it looks like they're going for around 264. This is, you know, uh, gingerbread man, but you get two of these. A whole collection of these, in fact, sold for $1,000 on April 5th, but you also got the New Year's promo. The New Year's promo is also um, a separate card apart from the Christmas promos. Um, so pretty cool, a whole collection going for a little bit less than the, the Halloween collection. I think people are more excited about the Halloween you know, it being more in theme, but I think these are very cool cards. Also, the Christmas promos. Cool. Uh, next up, let's take a look at the new, uh, kind of like the last release item. Uh, and I got, you know, if you watched my last video, uh, kind of go over this one in more detail. And this is basically the uh, illustrated novel. They call it a comic. Somebody calls it a comic here, but this is more of a novel because it basically has like, you know, pages of text with some illustrations about MetaZoo. And uh, this one kind of goes over the lore and background story of MetaZoo and kind of fleshes out the world some more. Uh, so this was, uh, I think these retailed for around like $10 and they had a, a thousand print run. Uh, so, you know, I kept mine sealed for, you know, collector's value, but we can kind of see these already climbing in price. You know, one sold three days ago for $200. Somebody sold there for a hundred, 255. Uh, and I think that's, you know, that's probably what we're going to see them go for. I, I expect it actually to climb from here because I think, uh, you know, MetaZoo being a big collector's item, these people are going to start bidding these up. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised these to see these go up to like $500, maybe even a thousand at one point, especially if you get yours graded um, and it's in good condition. I think these are going to uh, really go up in value. So definitely pretty interesting. So next up is, let's take a look. So this was kind of a sore topic for me also because I didn't get any sample cards. So the sample cards were released before the game was even released in sample packs and they were kind of like these like silvery packs uh, and you got one sample card inside and it was random. You didn't know which one there was and I think there was like, I don't remember how many sample cards total were released but there was a hundred of each sample that was released. So these are very, these are like the, the peak rarity right now. If you got your hands on samples, Amazing. Uh, I think the Mothman sample, the holographic is going upwards of like, you know, people are willing to pay like $10,000 for this in trade groups. Like I've seen ridiculously high prices offered for that one. But on eBay, we can kind of take a look at and see what the samples are going for. Oh, and just a quick note is the way you can identify a sample is they have a black border instead of a red border around the card. And they also have like this little meeple uh, uh, symbol in the bottom right corner. So we can see the Hopkinsville Goblin sample, $805 for a single card. We have, let's see, like, let's find some higher ones. Oh, we can see the Fire Elemental sample, $1,500. And the trend with these is that the holographics are going for higher than the non-hollows. Uh, we can see a sealed pack right here for $1,275 that sold $1,500. Oh, see, this one is pretty cool. This is a whole uh, sample collection sold for $7,800 on April 16th. Definitely crazy. Uh, this one, uh, let's see. So this is four comments on one holo, sold for twenty five hundred. Uh, the Grim Reaper sold for a thousand. Oh, here's one that's interesting. Oh, so this is a first edition set, hundred sample sets made. So I don't know what this is. Sold for ten thousand dollars. I don't know if this is all the cards or a single one, but man, these are definitely. If you got your hands on these, congrats. You know. Take, you know, hold these because I think these will only go up in price, you know, especially if you got a holographic. Cool. So that was uh, everything I wanted to look at today, guys. Uh, now, if you haven't already checked out my previous video where I go over some of the MetaZoo resources, definitely check it out. One of the cool resources I cover was the MetaZoo Spellbook. If you wanted to get an idea of what kind of cards exist right now, you know, if I wanted to take a look at the holiday promos. You know, you can take a look at all these cards and then you can click into, you know, the eBay link. And this this is not correct. We don't want to see. I don't think this is working right. <laughs> MetaZoo Fright Night. Oh, it's just bring me to the Fright Night. So maybe don't use that uh, eBay link for some of these. But let's see. Beastie Bash. Let's take a look at this one. And there's nothing sold for this one. But anyways, uh, use the 130point.com website that I used in this video to get an idea of what these are selling for. 
Uh, and I'm going to be doing this video as kind of like a series. So this will be ongoing. I'll maybe do one like every month or so just to get an idea of what the market looks like right now because things are changing so fast. Prices are climbing, they're dropping. Uh, and, it, you know, keeping up with this video series, you guys will get a good idea a good idea of what the cards and products are selling for on the secondary market. Um, so if you haven't already, leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching today. Uh, stay tuned. I've got more MetaZoo content coming uh, as the first edition products release. I'll be doing more unboxings and reviews. And I'm also hoping to do more gameplay videos. I know that's been kind of lacking on my channel just because of the lack of auras that I have right now and an inability to build decks, but as more product is released, I'll build some decks and get some gameplay going on my channel. Cool guys, so if you watch this video so far, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think about the market currently. Is it ridiculous? Do you think it's gonna go up higher? Is it gonna drop? Uh, you know, just let me know your general thoughts and uh, I'll be glad to, to chat with you guys in the comments. Cool guys, so thanks for watching today and I will see you again soon.